guys, welcome back to another episode of Now You Know, here's the news for the week. The iPhone 5 has finally been released and while some call it the greatest phone in the world, others are simply underwhelmed. Now the latest iPhone is thinner and lighter, comes with a 4-inch retina display, ultra-fast wireless and a new chip that supposedly performs twice as fast. Other changes include a new OS and a camera that allows you to shoot in panorama. It said the iPhone 5 will be available in Singapore on September 21st. Yes! <laughs> the Miss Hong Kong 2012 pageant gained a lot of attention this year, but for the wrong reasons. In a bid to have a more democratic system, the judges were to select the top three contestants, but online voters could decide how they would place. However, the system couldn't handle the surge of voters and shut down, leaving the final decisions to the judges anyway. Hong Kong? Awesome. Gossip Girl star Blake Lively wed Hollywood heartthrob Ryan Reynolds in a secret wedding last weekend in South Carolina. The private wedding was attended by 60 of their closest family and friends. Blake wore a Chanel gown and Ryan a Hugo Boss tux. They also had a $3,000 wedding cake that travelled 8 hours by truck from Maryland. The pair had been dating for a year before they tied the knot. Now they met on the set of the movie Green Lantern and have been very private about their relationship, which is good. Congratulations, guys. At least something good came out of the Green Lantern. was <laughs> a terrible movie. Whoops. In local news, earlier this week, Prince William and wife Kate Middleton arrived in Singapore to kick off their Asian tour marking Queen Elizabeth II's Diamond Jubilee. They visited places like the Botanic Gardens and had dinner with President Tony Tan at the Astana. They also travelled to Queenstown, apparently named for Prince William's grandmother during her coronation in 1953. Here's a photo you might have seen circulating online, a before-after photo of Queenstown. The before is empty and the after shows children and old folks engaging in activities in the playground as the Duke and Duchess make their way through the crowd. Which is great, Queenstown, because I could never get anyone in Yishun to do anything at 3pm in the afternoon because it's too hot, right? Nobody wants to do activities. But Queenstown, awesome. Tai Chi, sea life, children playing. Solid. Okay, last Thursday, Singapore proudly welcomed the arrival of our first ever pandas, Kai Kai and Tia Tia. They travel all the way from Chengdu, China on Singapore Airlines in custom-made crates. The pandas are on a 10-year loan from the Chinese government to mark two decades of strong ties between China and Singapore. They will be residing at the River Safari at the zoo and will be put under intensive care and training before making a public appearance. Tia Tia, she loves her food and she's actually quite uh, well-rounded. Always enjoy bringing her food up onto the the tree basically to sit down there enjoy the breeze and eat the bamboos. Haika is actually very responsive to his keeper. During our last visit we saw him actually doing squats. The keeper was training him to perform squats to strengthen his hind leg which will come in handy during the mating season. Now that's great you know but what I like to suggest to Singapore is that maybe add a third panda to Kai Kai and Tia Tia you know. I mean come on look at me. Dark rings, big round, big tondi. Look at this. <laughs> come on guys. I want to be a panda too, alright? I have panda fever. Or some might call it pandemonium. That's right. Kai Kai, Jia Jia, Don Don. Come on guys, come on! Everybody calls me a panda here anyway. Come on, just let me be a panda. I'll, I'll be here for more than 10, 10 years. Don Don, remember that, okay? This week, words I say when I'm mad was trending on Twitter. And here are the ones that made us chuckle. You are adopted! I don't know what we're yelling about! You've been bad. Take off your clothes and go to my room. As for me, I guess when I'm mad, I really only have three words. No more sex. That's right, I deny sex, you know. No more sex. Of course, that very quickly follows with, baby, I'm sorry, baby, no, 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 I changed my mind. Baby, no, no, please, baby, don't walk. It happens. Thanks for tuning in. Look us up on Facebook and Twitter for more updates. Now let's end this off with the most watched video in the universe this week, according to us. And what exactly are you doing, ma'am? It's a special code. This week's video was done by a guy who recorded his mom sleepwalking one night. When asked what she was doing, she started dancing and saying random silly things. There's also a part two to this video where the guy lets her watch the video of herself. Come on, this is not right. <gasps> As 
that's pretty cool, all right? But let's, let's really address this week's issue here. iPhone 5. A lot of people, you know, those that find it underwhelming, they're on Facebook and Twitter and they're all angry. I'm not impressed by the iPhone 5. You know, the Galaxy, Samsung is so much better. That's right. I'm going to buy the Samsung when it comes out, when my plan expires. I'm not going to buy the iPhone 5. Nobody wants to know your opinion, guys, you know, and, and, and here's the thing, right? If you want to buy the Samsung Galaxy, cool, right? Go ahead and buy it, right? But all you guys that complain about the iPhone, you are the ones that will line up on September 21st to buy that shit. That's right. So I have a song I composed for you on the spot. Stop complaining about the iPhone, because you're going to buy it anyway. Stop complaining about the iPhone, because you're going to buy it anyway. If you claim you're going to buy the Samsung Galaxy, then go ahead, bro. Buy it. But I know you won't. So stop complaining about the iPhone. This message brought to you by Don Don, your favorite panda.